I'm joined on set by Samantha Dawson, Sky News Entertainment reporter. How are you going, Sam? Hey, I, anyway. I mentioned last night we, uh, we had a bit of fun going to uh, a movie preview. We'll come back to that in a moment because there's been a, a sad passing in yeah. the world of entertainment. Yeah, Rodney Howard unfortunately passed away at the age of 75. Now, he's best known for his role as Roy Batty in the 1982 film Blade Runner. He died last Friday, July 19, at his home in the Netherlands after a short illness, as I mentioned, 75 years old. So he's still quite young. His agent, Steve Kennis, confirmed the news and said that Howard's funeral was held yesterday. His film credits are really extensive. It's so impressive. He was in Sin City, also Batman Begins, and most famous for as well, the TV series True Blood, Chris. Ah, right there. True Blood. I, um... Mentioned before uh, our sneak preview, but let's go to Hollywood, of course. <laughs> a, a big premiere in Hollywood yesterday of the latest Tarantino movie, his ninth movie. Yeah. And a pretty star-studded turnout. Unbelievable turnout. I know you've been exceptionally excited for this film. This premiere in Los Angeles not only drew the stellar cast, it also had Chris Hemsworth turning up and Britney Spears, and only Quentin Tarantino would demand this. Now, the film, of course, as we uh, saw last night, is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Uh, the leading man... And not to give too much away, because we are going to review this closer to the release date in Australia. Um, but basically, it's about... Uh, based in the 1960s, the late 1960s, I should say, and follows the story of a fading star in Los Angeles. His name is Rick Dalton, played by the one and only Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, he stars in a show... He's an actor in, in the movie, a show called Bounty Law. Um, but he's grappling with his looming irrelevance. This is what he had to say about that on the red carpet in Los Angeles. I've, I've grown up in L.A. I know these stories. I know I hit the lottery very early on, but the, the struggles and the insecurity of this actor trying to remain relevant and the torture of that was something... I just knew who this guy Rick, Rick Dalton was. And then I knew about this relationship, too, between the professional that come, becomes your family when you're off on set for nine months. They become like your therapist, you know? So Quentin got, you know, hit the nail on the head with this Hollywood story. Of course, there was Chris standing alongside Brad Pitt, yeah. our very own Margot Robbie in this, Kurt Russell, as we saw last night, the late Luke Perry, a, a stellar cast, Dakota Fanning, I could go on and on. Uh, one man who also is in the movie is Damon Harriman, an Aussie actor. He plays Charles Manson. He's also done that previously. I spoke to him a few weeks ago, uh, and this is just what he had to say about being on a Quentin Tarantino film. It was like uh, actor Disneyland, really. Firstly, getting that job uh, was, you know, one of the most terrifying and exciting <laughs> days to, to, to be going, wow, I'm going to be going on to a, a Quentin Tarantino set and playing Charles Manson. That's, a, that's a <laughs> something to get my head ar around. Something happens, I think, at, at that level um, where the bigger something gets in Hollywood, the, the kind of often there can be the, the more tension and the more ego and the more diva behaviour and... And then something happens when it gets to the very top where it goes back to being completely normal again and it's just like walking onto a set of a short film that you and some mates are, are making. It's like a family and uh, they just invite you in. I thought that was quite refreshing to hear that, you know, when you get to that stellar top of your game, as, as Margot Robbie, also Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio are, that it does feel like a home. So Damon was, was awesome to talk, talk to. Quentin Tarantino has said this is his second last film. It's out in Australia in three weeks. No, I bet I bet he makes more. We'll see. But there wasn't <laughs> quite as star-studded as that at Glebe last night. But, <laughs> no. Uh, to me, the movie was a lot about Tarantino indulging in his favourite subject, that is Hollywood. And yeah. uh, it was fantastic. Uh, but you and I, we're, we're sworn to secrecy. We'll, we'll talk about it in a we'll week or two. We'll talk about it more closer to the release date. Yeah. Now, also in entertainment, Bindi Irwin. Yeah. A big wedding on the way. I know you like good news, Chris. Oh, She's... it's happy news. I, I wouldn't marry her because I couldn't <laughs> stand all those animals around. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'd tell you what, she's celebrating her 21st birthday at the moment at Australia Zoo. They've got a big party there. But this happened by her now fiancé, Chandler, who got down on one knee on her 21st birthday and proposed. So, of course, uh, the late Steve Irwin's daughter there, very happy. Her brother, Irwin, uh, Robert Irwin, was hiding in the, the bushes taking these photos, Chris. Um, and, of course, Terry has come out and said she's overjoyed by the news. So, very happy for the Irwin family. Happy news. Yeah. Always good to finish on some happy news. Thanks so much for joining us, Sam. Thanks, and we'll Chris. catch you next week. Talk soon.